Ninjago. Stop posting about. When I was a kid, there was one Lego Ninjago dragon that eluded me. Me and my brother, we always had, or we had all the Ninjago dragons from the first pilot season of Ninjago. Unfortunately, uh, one, and you probably know which one, uh, eluded us. It, it was like, it was the lightning dragon. Of, of course, every kid wanted this thing. Most didn't get it. It was a holy grail. We would look at it through our Lego magazines. We would see it and we would be in awe. Blue, every little boy's favorite color. Every little kid's favorite color. It doesn't sound good now. Drop it. I wanted this set forever. And I don't want to buy one because it's so expensive on the <laughs> Anyways, the point of this video is to showcase what I think this set could look like if it was released today. With all the new dragons Lego has been making recently. You got this one, this one, and this one. And they're all honestly fantastic. Every single dragon they've made so far in the past few years has been legit. Like, good. Very good. So, I just wanted to see. I wanted to take my hand at it. Make a mock of the original lightning dragon update it make it pretty cool looking and i think i have succeeded this is the jay's lightning dragon reimagined i don't want to call it a better version or anything like that because you know it's still a mock but i think that this sucker does look pretty freaking sick so let's take a look at them details because i packed a ton of details into this guy. So we're gonna start out here with the head. I think the head came out very nice. As you can see, a lot of Chinese dragon, uh, or that Eastern style dragon uh, was put in here with the beard and the little whiskers. I think it just looks so sick. Uh, nice gold and that nice yellow that they used for um, Jiro. Nice eye, I like how the eye came out. Yellow with the uh, little arch piece there. Little Technic beams here holding up these struts very nice these look really cool these are little like back spikes uh, the head's on two ball joints here so you the chains are attached and over here we have this j i think this is from i'm not sure what season it is because i'm not caught up with all the ninjago seasons this is the j with the like cool armor and shield i just thought it looked pretty sick so i put him on here and of course you can remove him and the saddle is also removable just on these two studs so I wanted to make sure that that was a feature. You could remove the saddle because honestly, one of the best things like I was done with their modern dragons is the removable saddles. I just think they are so, so great. And I wanted to incorporate that into this mock was a removable saddle. Down here, we got some more spikes and some of these ball joints here to give it that movability. So it's a little less stable than something like my Sora's dragon mock, which I probably will do a comparison here with. Uh, like, comment, subscribe if you want to see that video. And then we got the classic dragon tail. I don't think you can go wrong with this little fun feature. It's super nostalgic for me because, you know, Cole's Earth Dragon had this. And, like, when I was a kid and the Epic Dragon had this. And so many dragons, like Firstborn, you know. All these dragons from when I was a kid had this swinging tail. So, I just have to put it on the mock, you know. It just, it's so good. I know it's a little loose and doesn't really match with stuff. I don't care. I think it's awesome. Over here, we got the wings there on these ratchet joints. Um, oh, the piece broke off. Uh, let me put that back on. Sorry. Oh, no. Yeah. Put that back on. It's Lego. Um, I haven't fully figured out this whole Lego mock showcase thing yet. The wings, they're pretty good. I think they're a little messy, but they can totally fold out. Just like so. Very nice. And they can fold over. Yeah. So there's no gap filler there. But, uh, I don't think it's too bad. So... That's, that's the dragon. I think it looks great. The details are awesome. I use some of these wing pieces here to get some details, some golden details. I used a, um, uh, a skate piece for that. These big claws, very nice details. Some of the pieces I used here, these uh, wing in pieces, maybe blue to get that angle. Um, I got used Kai's fire swords here. Two fire swords for the long whiskers. Um, some other notable pieces. A lot of Technic beams used makes it kind of look ugly i think but i don't think it's too bad looking uh nice there's some stud shooters here on the legs because i like my stuff having functions I, I explained in the doom video when the sets have functionality to them i think that's fun but uh, yeah he's also a big boy too i mean that is nothing to scoff at he's 
quite a large quite a large guy so unfortunately i do not have um the original lightning dragon as i said and i don't really have any lightning dragons currently built to compare this one to like i don't have stormbringer or any other ones like the uh one from season or season six i don't have any of that so here is heat wave from dragons rising a lot of people actually have this set so just to give you a sense of just how big jay's lightning dragon here We'll call it Jay's Lightning Dragon Evo is here. I mean, that is a big boy. Oh, that is a big, big dragon, I think. Um, and I think the head just really captures that Chinese dragon. And that's exactly what I was going for. Really cool. I'm very happy with it and just how big this dragon is. Fun fact, when I was building this, I didn't intend for it to be this big. It just kind of happened. You're gonna be hearing that a lot with my other two dragon mocks. I didn't intend for them to be this big. They just kind of started to take shape once they became super big. Uh, and honestly, that's all good with me because that is pretty dang sick if I do say so myself. I'm pretty happy with how this mock came out. It is super, super, super cool in my opinion. And you need to see how large it is. I do not skimp out on the size of my mocks. You guys know this. I go all the way with my mocks, baby. We don't skip out here at Benex. So if you want to see more mocks like this, you'd like, comment, subscribe, and you'll be seeing more LEGO, LEGO fans. Yeah, we don't skip out on our mocks here. Um, big stuff. Big stuff in the works here. But uh, you can see, definitely a sizable, sizable guy. Second size comparison we have here is Sora's mech, Elemental mech, with Jay's Elemental Dragon, Wisp. Very cool, very cool looking. Just a monster of a build. I also wanted to showcase, I forgot to show you guys, just gently picking them up. Tan underbelly and all that shaping. Look at that shaping I did there. Very good shaping. And you can pick him up by the middle and he does that curve Chinese dragon. Ball joints there, as you can see on the legs. Hinges on the claws, you got those ratchets there. And ball joints. So pretty freaking epic mock if i do say so myself i do say so myself very happy with how this one came out and i'm very proud of it one of my favorite builds i've ever done really these these dragons and don't worry they get better than this this is the worst one i've built and it's sick they're just gonna get better it wasn't the first one i built but it was definitely my least favorite but they're just gonna keep getting better so like comment subscribe i'll see you guys in the next video hope you guys enjoy this one See ya.